So today I will be uh, bringing good news for uh, patients with uh, metastatic breast cancer worldwide uh, through the under understanding the biology of breast cancer, more and more use of uh, molecular oncology, precision oncology, we learned that we can exploit our knowledge of the HER2 receptor, which is a growth factor receptor. It makes tumors uh, grow faster. It used to be really tough type to tackle until we learned how to use targeted therapy called Herceptin more than a couple of decades so far. And the history of HER2 positive tumors indeed was transformed. Right now, we managed to cure patients, hopefully, or at least put them into remission when they have HER2 positive early breast cancer. Not the story uh, more than a couple of decades ago. Also, patients with metastatic breast cancer right now survive for years uh, on treatment for uh, HER2, uh, on treatment with anti HER2 therapy. We have uh, different types, they target that subtype. The problem is uh, patients with uh, HER2 positive tumors to benefit from current treatment armamentarium targeting this subtype, they have to have strong expression of the HER2 receptor, of this growth factor receptor. Uh, we used to rely on a pathologic approach or histologic approach to assess the intensity of those receptors on tumor cells using something called immunohistochemistry. Uh, simply put, we look at the intensity of staining and we grade it. Uh, only tumors with plus three would benefit from these uh, options. And tumors uh, which score plus two by the pathologist, we go for more sophisticated assessments and look for amplification by a, a molecular oncology approach called FISH fluorescent in situ hybridization to look for amplification and increase in the copy number of these uh, genes so that we can use targeted therapy. If they have it, we can use it. If they don't, we cannot. The good news we learned right now, uh, we can use a recently developed anti hair 2 therapy that is so good, it is engineered not only to tackle the HER2 receptor, but also to carry a chemotherapeutic payload, which goes directly to the cell that carries the growth factor receptor. Not only does it stay there, but it leaks to the surrounding cells so that it indeed induces a much better response as compared to targeted therapy that goes only to the tumor cell that carries the HER2 receptor. Why is that? because we know that the tumors are not that classic. They're not all carrying the same intensity of growth factor receptor expression. And that indeed led to resistance because if you only abolish those tumor cells that carry the HER2 receptor, the tumor cells that do not carry enough growth factor receptor, they will not die. They will stay and they will be a source for resistance and recurrence of the tumor. So by leakage of that chemotherapeutic payload to the surrounding cells, you tackle the tumor cells much better than just targeting the tumor cell with the highest intensity of the growth factor receptor expression. That created a new description of tumor cells in different subtypes. We used to call breast cancer uh, subtypes uh, in the clinic HER2 positive for those with the highest intensity of HER2 receptor expression, triple negative for those that do not have any uh, expression of hormone receptors or HER2 receptors, and hormone receptor positive for those that carry the estrogen receptor or progesterone receptor. Right now, we added another description called HER2 low, meaning that tumor cells that carry a growth factor receptor at intensity of plus one or plus two, regardless of the subtype, triple negative or hormone receptor positive, they can benefit from the new treatment that targets the HER2 receptor. It's called in HER2, or uh, scientifically, it's called trastuzumab deroxytica. Uh, it belongs to a new family uh, being widely used right now in oncology. It's called antibody drug conjugates. 
the antibody goes directly, it's a very specific targeted therapy, goes directly to the cell that carries the HER2 receptor, regardless of the intensity of expression. And the conjugate is a chemotherapeutic agent that is carried by the antibody to the target cell and leaks to the surrounding cells, helping to control tumor cells that are indeed heterogeneous. Tumor cells are not copy of each other. That's why this kind of approach right now is gaining more and more favor among uh, oncologists because it ensures better uh, adaptation to the tumor biology. Good news for our patients. We have a new option to target uh, those tumors, including the triple negative breast cancer tumors, including the uh, hormone receptor positive tumors with HER2 low expression. And the better news is that even those uh, patients who are unfortunate to have brain metastasis do benefit from this new approach. All the best for our patients and hopefully uh, every single meeting we can update you about new options to improve outcome. And one more last um, addition is that it is being uh, used or uh, tested in earlier settings. Right now, it's only available for patients with metastatic breast cancer, and soon, hopefully, it will transform the approach to patients with earlier uh, stages of breast cancer.